The first sampling site is an urban river. For this purpose, we will use a sterile disposable pipette. There have been no recorded rainfall events in the city for the past week. Afterwards, we will transfer the sample from the pipette into an Eppendorf tube. The samples should be labeled for further analysis. The second sampling site is a sandbox in a playground. The sampling will be done in the afternoon. We will collect the sample directly into an Eppendorf tube. The samples will be labeled similarly for further analysis. The final sampling site is an urban park. The procedure is identical to that of the sandbox. The entire procedure is performed using disposable gloves. After completing the sample collection, we proceed with applying the samples onto the petri dishes. In addition to gloves, we also use masks. We will need sterile water to minimize the possibility of contaminating the samples. Using sterile water ensures that any liquid used during the procedure does not introduce unwanted microorganisms, thus preserving the integrity of the samples and the accuracy of our results. Next, we will take one ml of sterile water and add it to the sand sample. The procedure for the park sample is identical. After adding the water, we need to shake the sample vigorously to ensure thorough mixing. Now, we no longer need water. Instead, we need petri dishes with agar. The agar provides a nutrient-rich medium that supports the growth of microorganisms, which is essential for observing and analyzing the microbial colonies from our samples. Now, we need an automatic pipette set to 0.2 mini to apply the sample onto the agar. Precision is crucial because it ensures that each sample is applied in a consistent and accurate manner, which is essential for obtaining reliable and comparable results across all samples. We will also use a sterile polystyrene spreader to evenly distribute the sample across the agar surface. This helps to ensure that the microorganisms are spread out properly, allowing for better isolation and analysis of individual colonies. Before and after each application, we will disinfect the workspace with ethanol. This step is crucial to prevent contamination of the samples and maintain a sterile environment, ensuring the accuracy and reliability of our experiment. Now, we will proceed with the application of the sample from the river. We will not be adding any additional water because the sample itself is already in liquid form. The rest of the procedure remains unchanged. The preparation of samples from the park is identical to that of the sandbox, so it will not be demonstrated here. Now it's time for a quiz. Can you guess which bacterial culture comes from which sample? Pause the video and type your answer in the comments. Get ready for the presentation of the results. After incubating for 24 and 48 hours, most of the microorganisms exhibit a circular irregular and pinpoint morphology. The most fascinating are the organisms with a filamentous morphology. It is important to remember that after conducting the experiment, the colonies must be soaked in 95% ethanol to kill them 
and ensure proper disposal. Let's check the quiz results. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.